Hi there, Jennifer Roberts here with another video on using X-Plane 11. This time we'll take a look at setting up external devices such as joysticks. This video was filmed using X-Plane 1102R2. X-Plane can recognize and use any USB device that has axes or buttons, such as joysticks, yokes or rudder pedals, or even game pads and display panels. In this video, I'll be using joysticks for my examples, but most of the process is the same no matter what device you want to set up. X-Plane 11 comes with pre-made joystick configuration files for around 30 of the most common hardware pieces in use. If your hardware is one of these, the joystick settings screen will look similar to this. It will show an image of the device and have many of the axes and buttons already assigned. Now let's go through the steps for setting up devices which have an existing configuration file. When you plug in a device for the first time, the settings window will look like this, and you'll want to calibrate first. Move every axis through its full range of motion, as this teaches X-Plane how far in every direction that axis can go. You'll know you've done it correctly when the bars change from red to blue. If you have an axis that just doesn't have a large range and X-Plane refuses to accept the movement of it, you can either ignore it entirely, or if you've moved it some and it just has an extremely limited range, this button will change to Accept Axis and you can take that instead. Now take your hands off any and all devices to let them return to their natural at rest position. Click Next to start the centering process. When the blue bar is done, you'll be able to click Finish and return to the main joystick screen. Here's where we'll use the drop down menus to make any changes or new assignments to all the axes and buttons on your joystick. You can press a button on your joystick or even click directly on the image to go straight to that option. Click on the edit button to assign a new command to a button. You can search as well to help narrow down the hundreds of results. Apply the change or cancel to keep the previous assignment. If you have more than one device plugged in, you'll need to use this device drop down to switch between them. And you can also use the View drop-down to change the image to see buttons that might not be visible otherwise. And finally, you can recalibrate at any time or reset to the defaults here. Note that X-Plane will save any changes you make to your preferences so this Reset to Defaults button will only return you to the default configuration X-Plane ships with. Now let's check out how to set up a device that doesn't come with a default configuration file. So there are a few hints that show us that this device has no automatic configuration. There's no image here behind the uncalibrated warning and all the axes and buttons are currently assigned to none. This bouncing green arrow is also trying to make sure we don't miss that fact, because until you assign these axes, the joystick won't work at all, and most likely you'll constantly get unconfigured device warnings. So we'll start by calibrating this device exactly as we did before. Now when we return to the joystick screen, we need to actually assign all these axes. Moving the joystick forward and back shows us that this axis should be assigned to pitch. Moving it side to side shows that this is roll. Twisting the stick shows that this axis is yaw. And finally, moving the lever shows this axis should be assigned to throttle. 
Next, assign commands to any and all buttons you'd like. Remember you can press the button on the stick to go directly to that line. One final note, if you have a device that doesn't come with a configuration file by default, you can use this Save for as Default button to create a .joy file. You can even send it to us here at Laminar Research to include with the SIM in a later update. We would love to have these Joy configuration files for every device out there. For the full explanation on how to create these files, See the Joystick Configuration File Format specification on the X-Plane Developer site. Once you've set up everything as you'd like, it's time to get flying. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.